seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In my most recent video, I might have left you with a somber tone, but I assure you it's actually quite positive. When we have these moments of clarity, that's how we're able to explore the real estate of our mind. Let's go back to the beginning. To recap, in my last video, I talked about how my emotional state allowed me to garner unrealistic expectations for myself. That's the gist of it. Having these moments of clarity is like brandishing a superpower, allowing me to evaluate where I'm at in my life through conscious self-awareness. In yet another past video, I shared three questions that I like to reflect on when I find myself in these mind states. Considering I find myself in one of those mind states pretty recently, I'm gonna work on a commission in this video and I'm gonna delve into those questions, explain my answers, and share the power that they have with me. Why do I create? I create because art is innate with inside me. I've been using art for as long as I've been using words. I create because of the feelings of satisfaction, accomplishment, relaxation, and peace that art brings to me. Who do I create for?
First and foremost, I create for myself. If civilization collapsed and everything fell into lawlessness and turmoil, I would still be harvesting charcoal, trying to find pencils, and harvesting natural pigments and learning to make paints for myself. Second, for Jennifer, my wife. My art offers us a meager supplement to our income, but in the event that something tragic occurs and I'm no longer here, then she can take my works and take them to market or find another way to make some money out of them. It's my way of leaving her something even after I'm gone. So I do believe art is a communicator. So for myself, for Jennifer, and for you guys. What do I want from my art journey? Fun, recreation, healing, analysis, triumph, happiness, just to name a few things. I have business goals, but those are really divorced and independent from the reason that I create art, as discussed in the aforementioned questions. In summation, it just goes like this. By asking myself those three questions. Why do I create? Who do I create for? And what do I expect out of my art journey? I'm able to clarify what it is that my heart really needs and all the other nonsense and anxieties melt away. This is tried and true. I've done this multiple times and I encourage you to do it. Be honest with yourself and objective about yourself. It's not a bad thing that you want to make money off of your art. That can be one of the things that drives you, but you have to understand that's what you want and be honest with yourself about the fact that that's what you want. Otherwise, you're doing yourself a disservice. So ask yourself those questions. Why do I create? Who do I create for? And what do I expect out of my art journey? And by doing that, well, it makes things a lot easier on yourself. It's easier to take a step forward and to have faith in the future because you know what you're about. With all that said, guys, I'm gonna show you these last couple of shots of this commission. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know about your own art journey, anything that hopped out of what I said to you today, and tell me what you think about the drawing. Otherwise, you can find me on my other social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, all around. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with another video shortly. Let's roll those final shots.